everybody. Looks like I better get out of the way here. Get on our first ride here because I want to get to walk through everything here tonight before that's before paint the night starts up. Which, like I said, and that guy went through hard to beat him. It looks like at this point I gotta get on for paint the night starts running. Like I said, according to the rumor, rumors, which is at forums.com slash WDW magic. Also has reported the rumor I reported yesterday of the Mickey and Magic Queen. The Gag Factory and the Five and Nine Store in Town will likely be affected. But it's also interesting is that it mentioned Sensational coming back, but also get ready to say goodbye to the Big Star Play Parade. Because, as I was saying, okay. as I was saying, Say goodbye to Big Star Play Parade because it'll finally be retired. Hopefully, fingers crossed here on November 4th. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it retires because honestly, that parade honestly has, has really overstayed its welcome. And honestly, I think it's time for a new parade to fill the hole. Of course, South Stational will be back, which is. Which I am not surprised, but I like Sensational, honestly. In my opinion, I really enjoy a Sensational. I mean, sure, it's no parade of dreams, but I really enjoy the soundtrack. I really do enjoy the soundtrack. I really do enjoy the soundtrack. I mean, I really do enjoy the soundtrack. I'm out a lot, just so you know. And also, Matterhorn. Also, the Matterhorn. That thing has been closed. That ride has been closed for a long time now. Let's be honest here. And uh, not Mike and Sully. Well, I think they're on our way out. Okay, let me say something. Here. So I'll say it's been down. That ride has been down for a long time. It's been down for a while. Literally. So, according to what this WDW Magic Forum said, Matterhorn is expected to open November 16th. So what that means is, what I think I'm going to happen is, once I get back from Survivor Series, yes, I'm still going, despite Crown Jewel going on, the Crown Jewel the controversy, I am still going to Survivor Series. Well, I like it that you can just find Okay. And yet all these bad puns from movies. The only one I have seen is Hocus Pocus or Hocus Pocus. I don't get the joke. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. And tonight as this is a beautiful park. Like I said, <laughs> of course, possibly. <laughs> Uh, well, as of course, the Tropical Hideaway, which I will review, and speaking of, of places I need to review, right here, Lowe's VA Cafe, because there is a food item here I really want to try, but who knows, one day I'll review it one day, and who knows, this could very well be my favorite nighttime. This could be a favorite they back to the last field of 2018. But, of course, let's go on Ramones. And of course, since we did Coco yesterday, I would probably would have been kicking myself for not showing this this year. It's back for a second year. The Operenda for Doc Hudson. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Paul Newman. All right. Whew. Oh my God. I, I'm not gonna lie. I really love Cars Land. This is absolutely amazing. And it's what sucks is that we can't get into Cars Land to that new Marvel campus just yet because that because it's still closed. Of course. 
Yeah, don't worry, folks. We will be. This is the way. We're going to take the reverse way back out. We're going to start here, then cars will start from here. We're going to start from here. We'll start here and by the way, yes, I'm getting back on this thing and I'm probably going to do a night ride very soon. All right, guys, see you guys for our finally. I know you guys have been waiting for another ride through for me today. A ride through for me today. So let's get on it. Let's start with Mainers and then we'll make our way to Luigi's. Yeah, it's just going to be these two. When I come back in the next few days, I'll probably do a full day ride through. So, we brought it. Oh, and by the way, there actually is a Halloween food item here that I would have tried, but like I said, remember what I said yesterday with the, uh, the Cosmo Chili Pasta review I did yesterday? Well, turns out there was one that was really spicy and I didn't think it was worth the risk. And, uh, oh, and by the way, Hitting parody right here. The Breaks Hotel. Get it like the base motel from Psycho. Which is possibly, in my opinion, and I think I'm not the only one that agrees with me on this, the greatest horror film of all time. And, oh, by the way, the concoctions. Yeah, here it is. Get it? These spooky cone macaroni. That has burning hot burritos. <laughs> I am not joking. Here we go. Breaks Motel, and it has to be its own version of the Psycho House and everything. I love that. That is my first one ever touch. And don't forget, guys, food reviews are still going to happen here on the channel. We have still yet to cover the cars from the cars. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I haven't done Cars Land either. I have not done Cars Land either. Yes, I have not done Cars Land either. I mean, Pixar Pier. We haven't talked to Pixar Pier yet. So, yep. But enough about that, folks. It is time now to get spooky. Literally. But before we do, before we go to that, da -da. whoa, Fresh pizza. running pizza, running pizza. Yo. Hey, there, head to your place in 30 minutes or it's free. Okay, I had to. I had to. Okay, I had to make the joke. I had to make the joke. All right, everybody. Who knows? Maybe next year they add Halloween to Pixar Fever. Now that Luxo's up there now, finally. <laughs> We're always here on the opening. <laughs> All right, so that about the set, which means pretty soon. So, we all know what's happening next. Bada, bada, boom. Painter's Graveyard Jamboree. Let's get her done on this Halloween rush. Look at this, folks. We are getting very, very close. The sun is about to sun is out there, which means we are possibly two, at least two groups away. Two groups away. By the way, you want to know what my costume is? I'm a simple football fan. So, supporting my 8 no LA Rams. Yeah, if I didn't work today, I would have dressed up as Prince. Oh, excuse me. Let me rephrase it. The artist formerly known as Prince. Alright, so it looks like everything is going to play skywise. We're getting the sun about to go down, which means we're in for a great nighttime ride here on Mater's. And don't worry, we're going to do the same thing for the Christmas overlay, should it be the chance. Bottle food for Brody, man. <laughs> if they actually got Larry the Cable Guy to speak Spanish, I doubt it. If they actually did, Disney deserves a Nobel Peace Prize. And yes, guys, I missed a really, a really terrible rhyme reference. It's a welcome foolish mortars instead of welcome foolish mortars. And yes, guys, we will be getting back on that rapids. Boom! Don't worry, it just means major. For your safety, please remain seated. Security fast. Keep your legs inside the trailer. 
graveyard Keep an eye on your kids, because these like Halloween it. loving tractors are ready right. for one wild like jamboree. Looks like they're going to have a nice group, so. Let's get ready for some treats. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it's over. Uh-oh. That's right. Yep. <laughs> it is the Monster Smash, not the Monster Mash. Which, incidentally, I did here at work today. Motorsports guy, which yes, I will be playing that NASCAR Heat 2 and possibly getting NASCAR 3 Heat 3 very soon because my boy Chase Elliott is doing so well right now. Oh. And fun fact Chase Elliott was in. Chase Elliott was in the Cars series. He was in Cars 3 as Chase raced a lot. I hate that it too. Poor Chase. All right, here we go. Can't believe. Hard to believe it was less than a month ago we were in there for the last day and now it's getting ready to become a Marvel campus. All right, here we go. The sun is really starting to set here, but the lights are on, so this is the night ride. Let's go. everybody. 